All right, one way is a 20-year-old pitcher. He's got some great flame-throwing stuff. Um, he has represented Taiwan at the U19 and U23 levels. And scouts have been watching him for years because of the numbers that he has. So at now uh, 21 years old, since he did have a birthday, uh, he's had in his 33 appearances, 63.1 innings pitched, 4-1 and 3.96 ERA with 88 strikeouts, 60 base runners, a 1.07 whip. And something that has been talked about a lot is the ability for him to mix it up. He's got a fastball. He's got a splitter. on um, His slider, he throws strikes. 67% of the time, and I know some reports are saying he occasionally can mix in a slower curve and a changeup. He's got a wide repertoire, and his fastball is averaged around 96 miles per hour. He's flirted with triple digits, as they said, in the Florida State League. He is missing some, some components, but he also has the ability to get a lot of strikeouts with his low 80 slider and then his 84 to 85 mile per hour splitter, which gets a, a lot of ground ball contact. So... Pan has a lot of uh, options that he can throw your way. Ah. <laughs> did that just come to you now? Or it did. You, it did. did you work I don't ever one? come up with these things in advance. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, so last <laughs> January, he was uh, part of their international signing period. Uh, the big acquisition at the time was Sterling Kaba, or Starlin Kaba, who, who you'll hear about in the top 10 prospect list because he's skyrocketing up the list. Uh, Pon was the other one that they signed last January uh, at the start of the period. He signed for $3 million, I just said, out of Taiwan. Six foot three, 220, so he's got like that pitcher's frame. Uh, his numbers last year at the, at the Jersey uh, Shore really jump off the page at you. I think there's a lot to be excited about with this kid. Mm -hmm. uh, 57 and two-thirds innings in Jersey last year. A 2.8 ERA, a .87 whip. Uh, his walks per nine was only 2.97, and his strikeouts per nine was 12.64. Uh, so like you said, hard throwing, uh, love that there. Uh, they sent him to Clearwater to start his career, and then he kind of opened uh, some eyes in his relieving role there, uh, was sent up to Jersey and and did a little more and just really, really uh, a dominating presence out of the bullpen. I think he's projected to be... Uh, you know, that bullpen piece. And if he can start regularly hitting 100 miles an hour, mm -hmm. as you said, he's touching on it. You know, if he can build up that arm strength a little bit more and regularly become a 99 mile an hour guy, uh, there's a, I think there's a lot of reason to be excited about this kid. 12.6 strikeouts per nine is filthy, yeah. filthy stuff. I think Tyler had up on the graphic, was it 67% of the time mm -hmm. uh, he throws strikes? So, you know, to me, that's a kid that attacks the strike zone. Uh, and he's got some nasty stuff as you went through. Um, I, you know, number 23 on this list, according to Baseball America, Prospectus, uh, MLB, all those, he's hovering right around that 22 to 25 range. Yeah. So you can kind of slot him in anywhere in there. Uh, but I think he's a kid uh, that, that there's reason to be excited about. Yeah, stands at 6'3". Uh, he definitely has, as, as some reports have said, a dominating presence out of the bullpen. And scouting grades have him at a 65 for his fastball, a 50 for his slider, 50 for his splitter, his control at a 45, and his overall at a 40. And then that's the 20 to 80 scale that scouts right. use. Good clarification. If you're point. unfamiliar with those rankings. So, so those are all pretty solid numbers. I mean, anytime you're 55 or above um, in most categories, that's, that's a pretty good starting point. So, you know, he's mm -hmm. definitely – the more and more we do this, the more and more I'm going to pay attention in season – I usually in the past would do occasional check-ins with these guys. Right. But, uh, you know, I think it's something we touch on in season and start following some of these guys because yeah. Wenwei Pan, uh, you know, all of a sudden in the Phillies top 25, he's only been in the system for a year. Those numbers are eye-popping. So uh, he's definitely one I'm going to be checking in on this year. Pretty, and pretty exciting. What I like about him is uh, going back to when he was 16, a lot of his reports have indicated progress, which is something that also you have to keep an eye on. Okay, at 16, he's throwing 96, but how has he progressed with his strength and conditioning, his years control? Old throwing 96. Yeah, Ooh. and so to see that he's year after year been making some progress and how he's you know controlling and, and even having that variety in his pitch uh, makes it exciting about what the future holds for when way pond so someone to keep an eye on in day three as i we look at our daily down on the farm yeah deep dive. and one of the last things from a scout uh with knowledge of him said 
He tends to keep the ball around the strike zone as the 67% strike rate mm -hmm. would tell you, though he's more control than command and could get to the big leagues in a hurry if he stays in this relief role.